What's going on everybody? Thanks so much for tuning in for today's episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. You guys have been asking us for an old car or a really oxidized car and today we brought in this Nissan Sentra which has very heavy oxidized paint. As you can see it's almost got a matte finish when it's supposed to be glossy but what's happened here is this is a single stage repaint which means that the clear coat and the paint have been mixed into one and basically over time without proper care it started to fade and now it's got this very matte finish but we've already done a test spot and that's revealed that there's still fresh paint underneath here so what we're going to do here is show you how to properly polish and also how to revive the shine of dead paint and then we're going to protect it so that we can preserve this look for as long as possible now as i mentioned this is a single stage paint and it wasn't done very well so it's not going to be 100 percent paint correction but for today's purposes basically what we're going to do is focus on removing the oxidation so that we can have some of that shine restored because again one, this is a, a fairly inexpensive car with a very cheap paint job and we don't want a show car shine, but basically we just want to remove that light layer. And also, since this is a single stage paint, we don't want to remove a lot of that because that means we're going to have nothing left over. So we're using the least aggressive approach being V36 with an orange pad. And I'm going to use the Torque 15DA because that's one of my favorite machines. It has a 15 millimeter throw and since this car doesn't have very intricate designs and it's mostly flat panels, we don't need something that's going to be very controlled. So the 15 millimeter is going to cover a lot of space and then using the five inch pad that gives us the combination to restore some of the shine very quickly and very easily. So down here, this is again the 15 DA and I've already set it up with our orange check logic pad. We're going to use a little bit of the V36 cutting polish. This is great for either a test spot or if you're looking to refine maybe minor scratches and swirls on any color car. This is the go-to for many detailers. And we're just going to use a couple dots since we're only doing half the fender here to start with. We'll just do, we'll do three dots. And about the size of one hex. And we'll spray it with some pad conditioner. If you're unfamiliar with what pad conditioner does, basically what this is doing is it rejuvenates the pad so that it can last as long as possible. But this is also reducing some of that friction so you're not harming the paint or you know potentially burning it, which although it's very difficult to do with a DA, it's still possible. So taking the kind of precautions like that is going to give you the best overall finish. Now to start, we're going to blotch it out. And on the lowest speed setting, we're going to spread it out in the two by two foot section. And just a couple things before we get started. When we're spreading it out, we're going to use the lowest speed setting, which is speed setting 15 on this. And then when we actually do our polishing, we're going to use speed setting six, which is speed setting 55 or 5500. And then basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that the machine is completely flat at all times because if it dips or dives, it could either stall the pad or it creates a hot spot, which doesn't give you very accurate results. It gives you more of a marring or hologram look. But also you want to make sure you're not putting too much pressure because that can also stall the pad. And then when you're working the polish in, you want to make sure that you're moving about an inch uh, per second. Basically what that means is your arm speed is moving about an inch per second. This way you're evenly removing paint because if you do it too quickly, it doesn't give the proper time for the polish to break down. And also this can also, you know, not remove all the scratches and swirls or oxidation, whatever you're working with. So then you get, again, not very good results. So we're going to start by spreading it out and then we'll start working it in on the highest speed setting. And I'll give you guys a little before and after. That's why we've taped it off here to show you what it looked like before. And then we'll get the nice reflective side on this end. Basically, V36 has gone translucent or clear, and now we're going to take a clean microfiber towel and buff it off. So we can check our work here, and also so we're not leaving any residue behind. But already you can see that you've got a lot of the gloss back. This is something very easy to do because it's just removing that light layer of oxidation. But like I mentioned, we want to use the least aggressive approach because there's not going to be a whole lot of paint left if you use a heavy compound or even do wet sand or anything like that because it is a single stage paint job and it wasn't done properly. so. We just want to restore some of that shine so that the car has more of that life brought back to it. And just from that light polish, you can see that we've brought back a lot of that gloss because before it had a matte finish with no reflection at all. And now you have a minor reflection here, which is a lot better than it looked before. So now we're going to refine this using V38 with a white pad. And this is something you can do just to jewel it a little bit more, or maybe your paints like this. You want to stop here. That's also fine. But for the purposes of this vehicle, we want to add just that little bit extra gloss because even though it looks good, it can always look better. So white pad V38, that's going to just refine any like light marring or maybe buffer trails or anything else that could be left on the surface. 
It doesn't have a whole lot of cut, so it's not gonna remove any kind of scratches, but it's just basically that last touch to really refine the finish. So the same procedure, we're going to center the white pad. This is just a, a fine refinishing pad. This is great for your last step, or if you're using a, a light polish. And then we're using B38. And again, we'll just use about three dots because we are working in a small section. A little more pad conditioner. People often ask us, when do you use pad conditioner or do you have to use it every time you blotch out on the paint? After you do this for maybe three or four panels, the pad's gonna be pretty well soaked in with the pad conditioner, so it's not necessary to do it every single time. But I do it for the first few and then as needed around the vehicle because the pad will start to get really heavy with the pad, the pad conditioner and you'll start to see kind of that liquid drip or it'll start flinging polish. So just as it needs it and for sure the first few times so you're not killing the pad. With the same process, we'll blotch it out and then on the lowest speed setting, we'll spread it out and on the highest speed setting, we're gonna polish. So again, once the polish has gone basically clear, you're gonna take a clean microfiber towel and buff away any of the excess. And just like that, we've restored a lot of the life and luster back into this paint. Before it had this very dull gray, greenish paint job, but now there's actually a fairly metallic, glossy finish. But like I said, you can see in the paint job, there's some orange peel in there and it's not exactly a high gloss finish. It was probably just a, a one day paint job, but for what it is, I think it looks fantastic, and this is something you guys can do at home. It just takes the right prep. And speaking of that, what we did is we started off using our waterless wash Swift Wipe to remove any of the surface dirt and debris that was on there, and then we used a OG clay bar to remove any of the embedded contaminants as well as some of the lighter oxidation. And then here, polishing with V36 with an orange Hexologic pad, removed a lot of the dead paint and the oxidation, and then refined it using V38 with a white pad to so give you this shine that you see here before you. So all these products, you can check them out on our website, chemicalguys.com. I'm going to jump on the rest of the car, but in the meantime, you guys can hit that like button if you like today's video. Drop your comments down below for future videos, and we'll see you next time.